This is Ben from Howcast.com at New York Comic Con 2011. I'm taking a look at some of the most interesting, most beautiful cosplay costumes here, and I'm going to get some hints, tips, and tricks on how you can do it yourself. All right, I'm here with Destiny and Dustin. We've got Sailor Moon and Logan, or Wolverine. Can you guys tell me a little bit about your costumes? I mean, did you make these yourself? We did. Each of these are both like completely handmade. Everything we do, every convention we go to is 100% us and members of our family that all help each other out. And how much time went into the, the creation of this Sailor Moon uh, outfit? This Sailor Moon, all in all, took over two weeks and uh, it's made of cotton. These are 14 hour days yeah. in these weeks too. 14 hour days. Yeah, 14 hour days. What kind of uh, materials went into your costumes, especially in Logan? Uh, the claws are made out of resin, but I originally made them out of um, uh, just clay. And then I made a two part silicone mold and cast them out of the resin. Then I had to install some middle bars in the back and front to attach them onto my hand. And they um, they actually do dig into my skin. And it, it digs about two millimeters deep at every con. I have six scars where all the claws are. I figured if it hurts Wolverine, I shouldn't complain if it hurts me. It was signed last year in New York Comic Con by John Romita, who's one of the creators of Wolverine. John Romita Jr., who's drawn some of his more um, really classic storylines, like Enemy of the State, and he was one of the first artists to draw the Bone Claws in the Fatal Attraction series, where Magneto ripped out Wolverine's adamantium. And this is uh, Peter David's signature. I had him sign it at Dragon Con this year. And it was actually his idea, completely by accident, to even suggest that um, Magneto tear out a skeleton. Now, something that strikes me as interesting is that you're here together, but you're from completely different universes. What kind of thought process goes into what you're going to dress as? Uh, for me, it's... It's, um, it's a mix between characters that I personally really like and characters that I don't see done well often. And um, I see a lot of people who, for, for Wolverine especially, they think if you add the claws, it's a great costume. Um, but um, actually, being Wolverine is the main reason I work out, just so I can uh, make a better one. Now, did you guys meet through cosplay, or did you decide to cosplay together after you'd already known each other? Yeah, we had our, uh, our first date at uh, Dragon Con. <laughs> yeah, I was still in, in full leather armor. She was in her gear. We The best store we have out of our years was we went to a place to get hot wings, and this guy, like he, he acted like he, he had never heard English before. He just kind of grunted his requests and commands at us. And he came over to us. Only The only thing he ever said was when he refilled our water glass, he went, hot to date, cold water. Poured the glass, disappeared, not another word the entire night. So that's our, that's our new uh, convention tradition is hot dates with very cold glasses of water. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you have any tips or hints for people who are getting started in cosplay? One of the, the big things that helps me is the drive, the love for the character. And I think, you know, you see some people that may have a costume that's not necessarily as stellar as another, but I think um, what makes costuming good is your confidence. Don't be afraid to use what you have. You know, if you can't afford much, don't let that hinder you in what you're doing. Oh, yeah. This costume total, probably 50 60 dollars as opposed to years past when i was a spartan from 300 i was mad max i've been a power ranger i've been a ton of things each of those i spent between six and nine hundred dollars on this stupid simple costume is easily 20 times more popular than any of those so don't let money hold you back good advice all right well thanks guys you look really great thanks.